Good evening and welcome to Overlook High School. Today's contest, the Red Devils of Pennsboro versus the Rams of Overlook. Today's contest is being conducted according to the rules of the New Jersey High School Athletic Association. These rules provide for fair competition among players. Spectators can help promote good sportsmanship by observing the rules of fair play. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated could subject a violator to ejection and may result in penalties being assessed against two or three. Each one is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this competition at a high level of good sportsmanship. Try County County. Had the uh, refs here asking me what and conference game this was. Should be an interesting go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's basketball contest between the Overbrook Rams and the Pensgrown Red Devils, hosted at Overbrook High School. Special shout out to my man, Jacob Callahan. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. Enjoy the game. There would be 
Gotta love the officials. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? All right, the teams are taking the court. Looks like we are about to get underway. Again, we are at Overbrook High School and I am your announcer, Mr. Prescott. Looks like our starting lineup for Overbrook is ready to go to start on the defensive side of the game. The inbound pass is in and the game begins. Around handle, looking for space. Unable to find much some good penetration there by number zero, 20. Big Kenny with the rebound over top of the opposing player. Dame takes the ball across court. Good feed to the center. Dame controls the ball, is looking for space. Good ball movement in the early game here. Kenny posting into, oh, unfinished business there for Kenny. Kenny Juanico, that is, number 21. Here's the inbound pass. Good effort there by Kenny. Couldn't quite get the job done. Excellent defense by number 13, David Haywood, taking the ball down course. Cool. This is to Kenny. And Kenny up and under four. And then good. The two pointers, the layup. <laughs> That's a 2 0 lead to start the game for Overbrook. Let's see if we can't get a defensive stop here. Looks like a kick ball there. But I guess they're saying that it was on Overbrook. Overbrook kick. Layup, or the three pointer is up and good for the Red Devils. Dame going one on one. Unable to convert the layup. Had to beat one man on there. Red Devils coming out aggressive. Play up, up, and no good for the Red Devils. Number 14, Devon Johnson. Takes the ball all the way across the court. Up and in for two. Good vision there by Devon, finding that open lane. Number 20 for, oh, a couple of Oldbrook players got caught up within themselves. From downtown. It's good. Three-pointer there from number 20 on the Red Devils. That is Anthony Thomas. Devin Johnson can't quite find the room. The ball is out on the Red Devils. It'll be inbound pass from Overbrook. Comes in, two, three. Dame in trouble under the mat, unable to handle the pass. Turnover on Overbrook. Looks like we have a foul on number zero, Jalen Hornsby of Overbrook. That is Overbrook's first foul over the half. The inbound pass goes to number 20. Anthony Thomas takes the ball at the top of the key. Three point shot is no good. Dame comes down with a strong rebound. Fortunately, there's a travel called on Dame on that one. He's unable to secure the ball. Coach Ross is trying to speak some life into these Overbrook Rams. Let's see what happens here. Downtown, no good. Kenny unable to beat his man to the rebound. Fortunately, no harm, no foul. Number zero, Jalen Hornsby, takes the ball up court, goes straight to the net, foul. Shooting foul, it'll be two at the line for Hornsby. Foul is on, 
number one, I believe. First free throw is good for Hornsby. Five, six. Favor of the Devils. Oh, Hornsby unable to com convert the second free throw. Rebound goes to the Red Devils. Devin Johnson's working hard against number 20 here, containing him. Unable to find any space, passes out to the corner. Oh, Kenny with the big block. That's Kenny Wanico, number 21. Blocking the ball out of bounds. Ball will remain with the Red Devils. Excellent defensive stand there. Oh. Number 25 of the Red Devils finds an open lane. Puts up a layup, good for two. Jalen Hornsby looking for an open shooter. Finds Dane. Oh, Dane puts a three up. Good shot, just couldn't get, get it to fall. Couldn't get the fall, shot to fall. Number two at the top of the key here. Throws up a three. Up and in. Looks like we got a technical foul on number two. I believe he was taunting. It was a great shot. And he let Kenny know about it. Doesn't look like the Red Devils are too happy with the call. But Dame Rawls will head to the line to take the free throws. The ball says, I don't want anything of this game. Heads to the other side of the court. Thankfully, Coach Ross is there to retrieve it for us. And here's Dame to shoot the technical. Free throw. Sinks the first one. Unable to sink the second free throw. It's all right. Both teams bringing the intensity here. On the technical, Overbrook maintains possession. <laughs> Foul on the Red Devils, number three. I believe they're saying he was shooting. It'll be two free throws. Four, number 13. David Haywood for Overbrook. Haywood sinks it first. Some good form there from Haywood on his free throw shots. Converts both and has now 8 to 11 in favor of the Red Devils. Excellent defense from Kenny on that possession there. Ball comes out to the top of the key. Number one looking for space. Foul is on zero, Jalen Hornsby. I believe this thing is on the floor. That's Overbrook's third foul. But the Red Devils will take the inbound pass from under the Overbrook net. Looks like there's a substitution made. We have number 12, Dylan Dixon, coming in the game for Jalen Hornsby. Oh, layup, unable to convert there. Overbrook takes the rebound. Dane drives across the court. Looking for an open man. Pass didn't quite make it to Kenny out there in the corner. Knocked out of bounds by the Red Devils. Overbrook will maintain possession. Kenny Wanico to inbound the ball. Goes to Dylan Dixon. Overbrook looking for some space. Dane loses his dribble. Kenny Wanico able to recover. Takes a shot from downtown. Does not come out. But in an excellent defensive recovery, he's able to make it back down the field for the block. Excellent steal by Devin Johnson, who needs to hurry to get this bucket up. Good. 
Two pulls for Overbrook. Excellent steal, defensive stand there in the bucket by Devin Johnson. Aaron Pass there by number 20 of the Red Devils. Overbrook Raw to take the inbound pass. Devin Dixon gets it in to Dame Rawls. Dame takes the ball across court. Overbrook sets up their half court offense. Excellent play to find space. Dylan Dixon able to get that layup off in traffic. Called for the travel, however. Looks like he tried to take an extra dribble before getting that pass, and it cost him a bucket. Number 24, the Red Devils, is looking for space. Unable to convert the layup. We've got two Red Devils and an Overbrook player up to get the rebound. It looks like it will be a jump ball. Possession is at Overbrook. I believe that was Dylan Dixon on that play there. The Red Devils putting some pressure on Dame Rawls as he tries to drive. Dame missing the layup there, unable to get his own rebound. The Red Devils try to get out on the fast break, but Overbrook did a great job of getting back on the defense, but they find the open shooter 20, 4 three, it's good. 14-10. Red Devils. Devin Johnson takes the inbound pass. Lots of pressure coming from the Red Devils. Devin able to get the ball past court without much trouble. Pass off to Dylan Dixon. They find Dame at the top of the key. Dame takes a three from downtown, and it's good! Great shot there by Dame Long. Having to make it a very good game here at Overbrook High School. Ooh, great move. Not quite able to get the ball up. Blocked out of bounds by Overbrook. The possession will remain with the Red Devils after a good move, which you couldn't quite convert. I should mention that this game is for the conference championship. A lot to play for here at Overbrook. Uh, last time we saw this matchup, number two was able to put up a three-pointer over Kenny. This time he loses the handle, chasing down Haywood. Haywood puts it up, and we'll have two at the line. That's the fourth foul on the Red Devils in the half. That's four fouls for Pensgrove and two fouls for Overbrook. David Haywood to take two at the line. Excellent form there by David Haywood. That's three. Free throws for three on the game for Haywood. And Haywood able to convert both free throws. We are now on the seesaw. Overbrook up by one. Number five tries to drive into the middle there, finds three Rams waiting for him, passes the ball back out. 20 looking for space, dishes to the corner, open shooter, unable to convert. I think that ball took Kenny by surprise. The ball will remain with the Red Devils. Finds the open shooter right off the inbound pass. Good shot, unable to convert. And that'll be it for the quarter. The score is 15 for the Overbrook Rams, 14 for the Pens Grove Rev Devils. And what's shaping up to be an excellent competition here today. Again, lots of intensity on both sides. And now we get to enjoy a wonderful number from our Overbrook Rams dance team. Can't wait to see what they have in store for us today.
Great job there, Overbrook Dance Team. Always bringing the hits. Quarter just about to get underway. Teams are taking the court. Twenty five twenty five for the Red Devils to inbound pass. Take the inbound pass. Goes to number twenty. Crosses half court and we are underway here in the second quarter. Number one finds a lane. Closed quickly by Devin. David Hayward. Able to get a piece of that shot, knocking it out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Red Devils. Inbound pass goes to number 25 in the corner. Takes a drive. Just about blocked, but gets it over Kenny for the assist. Layup is up and in. 16-15. The lead switches back over to the Red Devils. Some tenacious defense by the Red Devils here. All over the Rams. Not giving them much space to operate. Oh, looks like Jalen Hornsby, number zero, has, was subbed back in the game to start the quarter. They have a travel on Devin Dixon. Dylan Dixon, sorry about that. Ball goes back to the Red Devils. Number 20, Anthony Thomas takes the inbound pass as the Red Devils get into their offense. Looking for space, the coach is calling for flow. Gets a pass into number zero underneath the net. Able to get that layup in despite a tip from Kenny Wanico. The layup is up and in. Scores 18 to 15, Red Devils. Then Thomas driving, hits Kenny Wanico open in the corner. Kenny looks stuck, gets the ball back out to Devin. The Rams reset. Dane loses the ball. Luckily for him, goes straight to Kenny. Juanico. Jalen Hornsby up for the long two. No good. Looks like Jalen got to his spot, just could not convert. Number 20 takes the ball for the Red Devils at the top of the key. Devin Johnson playing some great defense on number 20 here. Pass goes out to 25, he's open. Unable to make the shot. Great save there by the Red Devils. Able to take. The great play made to save that ball and turn it into two points. The Red Devils on a little bit of a spurt here. Scoring six unanswered points. Let's see if the Overbrook Rams can respond. Double team comes to Dave, he's able to pass out. Three point up, three point attempt up. No good, but Jalen Horn's been able to come down with the rebound. It'll be a jump ball. Possession stays with Overbrook. Damian Rawls to take the inbound pass underneath the net. Pass goes out to Dylan Dixon who finds Dame in the corner. Nothing there, resetting, finding the flow. Double team comes on Dave. Dame finds the open man, and Kenny takes the wide open three. Just a bit short on the shot. Timeout, Red Devils. It's a 30 second timeout. Again, the score is uh, 20, Red Devils 15 over, bro.
timeout is over. And the teams retake the court. Ball's inbound in number 20, Anthony Thomas. He gets a give and go. Tries to get it up over Kenny Juanico, but Kenny Juanico says, not in my house. Blocks the ball out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Red Devils. Double team coming on zero. They're having trouble. Unable to escape from that double team. Travels over Brook Ball. Jalen Hornsby bringing the ball up. Getting press, pressure by number 25 of the Red Devils. Able to get the ball across half court to Dame. A long three. No good. Just a bit short. Some good ball movement by the Red Devils. Able to get an open three. Or the shot, but unable to convert. Another layup. Jalen Horns who comes up big with a hard rebound. Excellent your step there by my man Devin. Unable to convert the layup. Some unfinished business there for Devin Johnson. Got a reach, reach round foul on Dylan Dixon. That's Overbrook's third foul. Not a shooting foul, so the ball will remain on the floor. That is Overbrook's ball. Looks like the ball was knocked out of bounds by Overbrook, but hit a Red Devil player that was standing out of bounds. Coach Ross are calling out to play. Let's see if Overbrook can execute. Dylan Dixon drives. Draws a foul. We'll shoot two at the line. Dylan has converted all four of his free throws so far tonight. Let's see if he can keep the streak going. And end this scoreless streak for the Overbrook Rams. First shot is up and in. Five for five on the night for Dylan Dixon. Oh, that's David Haywood. David Haywood, not Dylan Dixon. 13, not 12. Somebody's five for five, six for six tonight. I don't know who it is, obviously. Number 25 in trouble there. The Red Devils are able to recover. Some good ball movement, gets the ball to number two underneath. But Kenny's there, Kenny Juanico is there, and they're unable to get the shot up. Some stifling defense from the Rams here. Not much space. To operate, not much space to operate here. Number one able to recover that tipped pass though. Brings the ball back across that court. Drives, finds an open shooter. He hesitates. Kenny Juanigo gets his hands in there. We have the Rams locking all windows and doors. Jalen Hornsby up and in. Oh, the call for the offensive charge. That basket will not count. Great defensive play there by the Red Devils to take the charge. Looks like his feet were set. Ball goes to Anthony Thomas. He's had the majority of the duties to run the offense tonight. Ball. Overbrook jumped the gun just a bit there. 
I have to take the ball back and re inbound the ball. Taken by David Haywood, not Dylan Dixon. Number 13. Drives all the way in, up and in. Good for two. Overbrook pulls within one. Great hands there by Dane. Damien Rawls. Tips the ball out of bounds. Number one says, come on out. Mr. Thomas, you can handle this. Great pass to find number five is open. Number one drives in, takes the long two, unable to convert. Good rebound by number zero. Fighting hard under the rim, unable to convert. Overbrook escapes with the three on two. Dame up. With the layup and it's good. Dame with a really hard shot there, able to convert. Long three. And when I say long three, I mean long three. I believe, I believe that is the Red Devils ball. Looks like the ball is out of bounds on Overbrook. This goes to number one. Double team in the corner, able to find open man underneath. I believe they're calling a kickball on that. Ball off Kenny Winiko. Red Devils underbound underneath the net. Number 20 to take the inbound pass. Oh, gets it into number zero, but unable to handle the pass. I don't think he was looking. Dylan Dixon drives, cannot convert to lap. Dame goes up, and his foul will shoot two from the line. Excellent effort there by Dame to get that rebound and then go up hard with it, draw the foul. Dame to shoot two with the Rams up one. That is Pendergrove's seventh foul to have. One more and we will be shooting one and one on all fouls. Dane misses the first shot. Second free throw is good. Rams pull up two with 28 seconds left in the half. Shot clock, is unplugged. Shot clock is unplugged, because it's always unplugged. Ball's out of bounds on the Rams there. Number 20 to take the inbound pass for the Red Devils. Looks like he gets the pass into one. Number one is Nasir Robinson. Overbrook is doing a good job of trapping the Red, uh, Red Devils in the corner, but they're doing a great job of passing out of it. Last minute heave up there by David Haywood. Hits the rim and can't quite get it to fall. So that will be it for the half, for the first half. Scores 22 Rams, 20 Red Devils. An excellent first half of basketball. I believe we might be getting a performance by our dance team. I am not 100% sure. But I'm going to take a break and I will see you in the second half. Basketball game four, all the marbles. We are just about underway. Again, I want to give a shout out to my boy Jacob Callahan. Hopefully he is uh, staying strong, still watching me. Us, them. D 
Number two from the Red Devils to take the inbound pass. Ball comes in to Thomas. And we are underway. Great pass by number 20 there. Unable to convert. The ball is tipped by Devin Johnson, taken by Dane Driven all the way down the court. Up and in for two. What a play there by Damian Rawls. Lightning fast. Great pressure. Let's go. Great pressure there by Overbrook. Red Devils unable to maintain control of the ball. Turn the ball over. Dane crosses half court with it. Kenny all alone under the net. Loses the ball. Number 25 takes the ball across court. Picks up his dribble. That was tipped. Great deflection there by David Haywood. No, nope, that's, David, that's David Haywood. That one was Dylan Dixon. Hollywood Haywood. Number 12 and 13 are both in the game. Number 12 is Dylan Dixon. Dame to inbound the ball from underneath the net. To David Haywood, Hollywood Haywood. Who dishes it out to Dame for the three, and it's good! Dame is on fire to start this second half. Timeout called by the Red Devils. Excellent start to the half for the Rams. With much of the offense coming from Damian Rawls, whose emotion is palpable. Firing up his teammates. The Red Devils discussing ways to contain number one. are done. They're ready to take the court, trying to maintain the momentum they built. It's a seven-point lead. The Rams have scored five points to start the half. Five unanswered points to start the half, I should say. Let's see if the Red Devils, oops, let's see if the Red Devils can end their scoreless streak on this possession here. Ball comes in to Thomas, number 20. Haywood beats him at half court. Thomas dribbles right through it. Unable to convert the layup. Strong rebound by the Red Devils, then an even stronger rebound by Devin Thomas. Devin Johnson, who finds Kenny at the three. Kenny unable to maintain possession as he drives. Turns the ball over to number one, who takes the ball all the way down the court. Up and in, 4-2, and the foul. He'll shoot one at the line. Red Devils able to stop him in a, in a major way. Makes the shot, makes the free throw. 27-23, Overbrook Rams. Inbound, comes to Dane, then goes back to Haywood. Lots of pressure from the Red Devils. Successful pressure, I should say, as they force the turnover. Dish the ball to one, under the net. He goes up and in for two. That's Nasir Robinson for two. The Red Devils have come out of a timeout strong. You can tell they've up their intensity level. Looks like Dane Rawls was unable to maintain the ball inbounds as he dribbled down the baseline. The ball will be the Red Devils, inbounded to number 20, Thomas, who takes the ball. Half court. Haywood, applying pressure. I 
I believe Haywood has called for the foul there on the floor. That is already the Rams' third foul of the half. The second, second half. Red Devils take the inbounds underneath the Rams' net. Long three. And when I mean long, I mean long. I say long, I mean long. Another long three. That's a pass. Tipped by the Rams. So the Red Devils will maintain possession. Stack play coming. Free, uh, inbound pass goes to number 25 under the net, but Kenny Juanico says, no thank you. Blocks the ball right to his team. The Rams take possession. The second half court offense up. Dane Rawls looking for the open man, trying to create some space. This is off to Devin Thomas, who drives. Up and in. Oh, not up and in. Some unfinished business there, but draws the foul. We'll take two at the line. Fouls on number 20, Anthony Thomas. That is the Red Devils' first foul for the half. And here we have Devin Thomas to take two. Devin Johnson. Devin Johnson to take two. Doesn't matter what his name is, he sunk that one. Devin Johnson, number 14. Devin able to convert both free throws. Putting the uh, Rams back up by four. Number one comes straight at Hollywood Haywood. Ooh, they said there was a reach in foul there. Foul is on number 14, Devin Johnson. The foul was on the floor, so. It will just be an inbound pass. Aaron passed there, but number 25 skillfully able to keep it in the half court. Double team out on number one, trying to trap. Aaron pass. Last desperation effort to save the ball goes to Dane Rawls, who dribbles half, across half court. The Rams now settle into their half court offense. They find. Kenny Juanico at the top of the key. Devin with an excellent drive using the shoulder to create space there, but unable to convert. Rebound goes to the Red Devils. And we're now getting set in their offense. Good pass there by number 25 to find. A diving five, who then dishes off to 25 for the bucket. The Red Devils pull within two. They pressure Devin, who has to pick his ball up, but he finds Hollywood Haywood. Some excellent ball movement, oh, by the Rams. But unable to convert. Good Euro step there by number one. I believe Monsieur Robinson. Foul is on Damian Rawls. They do say he was shooting. So it will be two at the line for number one. Nasir Robinson. Let's see if our dance team can cause a sufficient enough distraction. Oh. Dance team not quite doing their jobs there. So we got a second shot here. So we've got Jalen Hornsby coming back in the game for number 12, Dylan Dixon. Number one able to convert both shots. The score is now all tied up, 29-29. Lots of pressure, and the Rams so far have been unable to handle the level of pressure shown by the Red Devils. Hard foul by number one on Jalen Hornsby there. 
So the Rams will inbound the ball from under their own net. That is the second foul on the Red Devils for the half. This time the Rams were able to handle that full court press without any problems. Dame crossing over number two, up and in. Shades of Allen Iverson on that shot there. Dame is feeling himself. Some ball moving. Number five says, oh. Tough call there. He just caught Haywood's leg as he was driving. Unintentional trip. What a trip nonetheless. The ball, that foul called on the court. It'll just be an inbound pass. That is sixth. The Rams' sixth foul of the half. They've got one more foul to give before it becomes a one-on-one -on -one situation. There is an offensive charge. Excellent defensive stand there by Devin Johnson. Taking that charge, putting his body on the line. I believe he's on number one. He's young, he can handle the, the beating. Hey, ball goes to Hayward who passes it off to Dane. Three-man press here. Graham's able to break through. Got to be careful with those passes. Up and in for three! From Devin Johnson. Devin making the play on defense and then coming back and making the play on offense. That's what you love to see. Two-way player. David Haywood, strong drive. Up and in! Could have passed it off and said, I'm taking this one myself! Great play by Hollywood Haywood. Similar play last time when the foul was drawn. This time they're able to force the turnover. Looks like we have a bit of a shoulder there on number three. The foul is on. Three, number three, Carter. Damian Rawls drives a foul. It is the Red Devils' fourth foul. Of the half. Looks like Dylan Dixon is coming in for David Haywood. Giving Hollywood a little break. Kenny setting the screen. Number one able to get around. Aaron pass there, off the legs of Kenny Juanico. Good pass to number three, unable to convert the layup, however, had a little unfinished business on that one. Dane takes it himself. Ooh, excellent move. Draws the foul, but unable to get the ball to fall. He'll have two at the line. Something's going on. I believe they're arguing whether or not Damian was on the floor or in the motion, of sh in the shooting motion. I think that that's happening anyway. Dame is still at two for the, at the line for two. Dame converts the first. And with that, the Rams are up eight. I believe their largest lead of the game. The pressure from the Red Devils was giving them fits for a little while, but it seems that they have been able to break it. Dame second shot, up and in. The lead is now nine for the Rams. With a minute 45 left in the, sec in the third quarter. The Rams are swarming on defense. Pass intercepted there by Dylan Dixon, who shovels the pass off to Devin Thomas. Devin Johnson. He gives it to Dane. Unable to convert. Some unfinished business on that one for Dane. Some fancy dribbling by one. Goes right at Jalen Hornsby. Unable to convert. Number two, strong rebound. Can't get the layup to fall, but draws the foul. He'll shoot two at the line.
First free throw is good. Number two for the Red Devils converts both free throws. Free throws. That is Jameer uh, Gilliam, number two. Haywood's back in the game. Strong pressure by the Red Devils. The Rams again able to break the pressure and get into, into their offensive set. Devin Johnson. Hard drive to the net. Unfortunately, his foot slipped just a bit there. Called for the travel. Turnover. The Red Devils will inbound the ball. Anthony Thomas takes the ball. Brings it half, across half court. Strong screen set by number five, but Jalen Horns is able to recover from it. Good shot there, but unable to convert on the three-pointer. Oh, it looks like my man, Jaden Greer, is in for his first minutes of the game. Number 34, rocking that Barkley number, the round mound of rebound. Let's see if Jaden can live up to the the number. Oh, pass just over Jalen Hollings' hands. Great pass under the basket. And there he is. Jaden coming down strong with the rebound. He's not wearing number 34 for nothing, folks. Excellent pressure by number two. Gilliam, but unable to come up with the pass. Great up and under by Jaden Greer, unfortunately. Timeout was called before the shot went up. But an excellent move nonetheless. And here we are again, graced with the presence of the Overbrook Rams dance team, or cheer team, or both. performance there. The squad is always bringing the heat. Looks like Haywood is returning to the floor, number 13. Hollywood had his rest. He's ready to go for the fourth. Jalen Hornsby to inbound the ball. Ball goes to Hollywood as the Rams get set. Devin Johnson looking, at, looking for a shot. Thinks better of it. Dishes off to Dane. Who drives, takes on three Red Devils. Finds a cutting. Dylan Dixon who puts it up and in for two. Excellent play there. Good vision by Dane to find the cutting teammate. Excellent pressure by Jalen Hornsby. We got Dylan Dixon laying it all on the line, dropping to the floor. Although I believe number one threw his body into harm's way and was able to recover that and call timeout. It should be a red devil ball. Great effort there by number one, Nasir Robinson, to maintain possession. The Devils to inbound the ball. We've got seven minutes and 30 seconds, 27 seconds left in this quarter, left in this game. The Rams lead is at 11. Foul is on. 
David Haywood, number 13. That will be the Rams' eighth, eighth foul of the half. So number 20 will be shooting one and one at the line. Anthony Thomas has been very good at converting his free throws today. We've got some fan input here. It's always great when you have multiple coaches. Oh, unable to convert that one just a bit short. The dance team did their distracting duty on that one. Ball goes to Dane, who drives, takes it at two Red Devils, unable to get it to fall. Number one losing his dribble, but fortunately his teammate was able to recover. Shot is up and in. That brings the Red Devils within the eight. Applying lots of pressure. Timeout called by the Rams. And that'll lead to discuss how to deal with the upped pressure that is being applied in the half court. So one minute timeout. Should be a great finish here. Lots of intensity by both teams. No doubt Coach Rosser for the Overbrook Rams is drawing up the next great basketball play. Coach Rosser also one of the world's greatest basketball minds. And a pretty good teacher as well. Hollywood to inbound. Gets it to Dame, who's pressured by Nasir Robinson. Dame using his dribble to get out of that pressure. Devin Johnson takes the ball. Looking for his play. Great pressure by number 20. Devin Johnson has no choice but to drop the ball to Jalen Hornsby. He drives, up and in for two. That was a tough shot there, able to convert. There's Jalen Hornsby. Applying the double team. And he's able to find number 25 who dishes it out the back to 20. Number one tosses up to three, unable to convert, finds 20 open for the second open three in a row, who is able to convert. And the Red Devils pull within seven with five minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the second. Full court press on display here. Haywood able to take it in half court, finds Dylan Hornsby opening the court, who thinks better of a shot. And the Rams will reset. Drive, strong drive by Dane. Draws the foul. Very nearly made it. The shot in for an N1. But as it is, he will shoot two from the line. crowd is imploring the defense to move their feet. Oh, Dame unable to convert the second free throw. But the Rams are up eight with just under five minutes to play in the game. 
Ooh. Risky pass there, able to conver uh, convert it to number five. He's dribbling, looking for space. Not much there. The Rams are doing a great job of pressuring. However, excellent pass to find a cutting number two. Gilliam, who puts it up and in for two. Devin Johnson takes the ball across half court. Pester by number five of the Red Devils. Bryce. Damian Lillard putting his body on the line each and every play. Draws the foul on number three. The Red Devils are looking for a walk. But no such call coming. We have Damian Rawls to take two at the line. Rams up six. Oop, that was a one and one. Never mind, it was on the floor. So it wasn't a shooting foul, so it was a one-on-one. One. Oh, number one loses his dribble straight into the hands of Hollywood, but makes an excellent play to recover. Fixing his mistake, oh, but then tosses a Hail Mary, intercepted by Damian Ross, who finds Jane Hornsby. He's unable to get the ball back to Damian. We got Kenny Juanico back in the game, controlling the paint. Three point shot, no good for number one. Oh, that's a two. Just a bit long. Jalen Hornsby dribbling through five Red, red, red Devils. Stripped but fouled after the fact. Fouls on number five, and they're saying he was in the process of shooting, so there will be two shots at the line for Jalen Hornsby. Number 20, Thomas coming back in the game for number five for the Red Devils. Jalen Horns, be shot. Free throw. Is no good. Rams lead by seven. Three minutes left in the half. No, nope, not in the half. Oh, in the half. But three, left in the, three, second, three minutes left in the game. Oh, number 20. Puts it up and in for three. Great form there. Rams leaving a lot of shooters open. Timeout called by Coach Rosser. Not leaving anything to chance. Going to make sure his players understand what is required of them for the last two and a half minutes of the game. The Rams are up as much as 11 in this half. But the lead is now sits at just four, with just under three minutes left to play. Both teams coming out of the timeout. Taking the court. Rams will take the inbound pass from their own net. Looks like the full court press is on full display. Dane with the, using the speed to cut through that press. Finding the open man in Haywood. Excellent pressure by the Red Devils. Dame, strong take, some good defense. 
cover that open lane. Unable to convert to that. Rebound goes to the Red Devils. Good hands by Kenny to deflect the pass there. Finds its way to number two for the Red Devils, who drives to the lane. Could not convert. The rebound goes to 25, who draws the foul. And will shoot two at the line. Number 25 is Lynn Quino. I believe these are his first free throws of the game. First shot is good. The lead is now at three. And the Red Devils are applying some serious pressure to the Overbrook Rams. Both free throws converted. We are now within a layup of a tie. That's Red, Red Devils, ball's off the Red Devils. Overbrook having trouble getting the ball in bounds with this press that's being applied by the Red Devils. Let's see if they can handle it here. The ball goes into Haywood. He was able to dribble around his defender. Falls into the trap. Coach Russell calls for timeout. Bails his player out of there. Rams will maintain possession. Some good defense by the Red Devils. They are making it a game. if they want to have success here, they're going to have to figure out how to dissect this full court press. Red, Red Devils doing a great job of applying pressure on the inbound passes. Overbrook's going to have to settle down, relax, and find the open man. Looks like we have David Haywood, oh, Damian Rawls take the inbound pass. Dylan Hornsby cutting, oh, Devin Johnson. Devin Johnson takes the inbound pass. Is pushed over half court by number 25. That's gonna be one and one at the line. Big play for the Rams here. Two shots. First free throw is good for Johnson. Making this a three point game. Let's see if he can convert. Bring the lead up to four. Johnson unable to convert. Oh, but. Kenny Wanico almost came down with the rebound off the miss. Excellent effort there. Open three for number 20, who hits the front of the rim. Didn't quite have the legs to get it there on that one. They are pressuring Devin Johnson in the corner. Jump ball. Red Devils doing a good job of trapping the Rams in the corner. The possession hour did face the Red Devils, so they will take the inbound pass and see if the Rams can up their own intensity. I believe timeout called by the Red Devils coach. Didn't like what he saw there. This is a nail biter. No matter who wins, hopefully both teams just had fun.
timeout is over. And the Rams take the court to resume play. It is a Red Devils ball. Inbound pass goes to number three in the corner. Wide pass to 25. He's able to handle it. Excellent pressure by Haywood. Almost has the seal. Couldn't quite come up with it. But hustling back on defense. Excellent defensive stand here by the Rams, forcing a long three. The Rams step out of bounds, or the Red Devils step out of bounds. It will be Rams ball. Overbrook Rams locking all windows and doors, playing some excellent defense when needed most. Inbound pass goes to Jalen Hornsby, who finds an open David Holwood. The Rams need to keep their heads up and watch for the cutting in. Ball goes out to Dane. Rams with some very good ball movement. David Haywood open under the net. Easy two. Putting the Rams back up four. Five. It is a two possession game. Close play there for David Haywood. Hollywood Haywood. Couldn't quite stay in bounds. It'll be Red Devil's ball. Inbound pass goes to Thomas. It takes a long three. And again, when I say long three, I mean long three. Which actually coming up short. Inbound pass comes from David Haywood. Intercepted. Excellent defensive play there. By the Red Devils. Unfortunately, the ball just got away from him, and it will be the Rams' ball. David Haywood to take the inbound pass. Ball goes to Dame. Number three fouls him immediately, which will put him at the line. That is the tenth foul on the Red Devils. Two shots. Two shots for Damian, the line, Damian Laws at the line. Nothing but net on that first one. Coach Ross is calling for no fouls, no fouls. Oh, Dame lifting the second free throw out. He's still able to put the Rams up six. Timeout called Red Devils. What a game, what a game. Lots of intensity. Lots of intensity coming from the Red Devils bench. Gotta love the passion. Time out is just about over. The Rams are retaking the court. We're up six, 18 seconds left to play. Nothing is impossible, but it is looking good for the Rams. Although we've had some hot three-point shooters on the Red Devils. 
Number one being one of them. Screen set by number two. But number one had his pocket picked by Jalen Hornsby. He draws the foul on the shot. So we will have two of the line, and we have an additional technical. I am not quite sure who it was called on just yet. Somebody was teed up emphatically. So both of these teams played each other on Saturday. And it seems as though they remember one another. There's eight seconds left. I think the Rams need to keep their head on their shoulders. Now we have eight seconds left. Play time. Both teams taking the court. We have two shots. Hope. We still have two shots at the line. Feel like it's been about two hours since the foul happened, but that was the last thing that happened on the court. So Jalen Hornsby to take two shots for drawing a hard foul. Sinks the first one, putting the Rams up seven with eight to play. Unable to convert the second one. Kenny Wanaka doing his best to try and come down with that rebound. Last minute shot, second play is really good. And the Overbrook Rams have won with a final score of 51 to 44. Excellent effort by both teams. You can see the passion. And with that win, the Overbrook Rams are conference champions. What a game. Looks like cooler heads prevailed. As both teams exit the court. Well, this has been a great game. Thanks for watching. Go Rams and have a great day.